Welcome back. Well, unions are calling on Economic Development Minister Ibrahim Patel to address factory closures as well as job losses at Clover. Representatives from the Food and Allied Workers Union and General Industrial Workers Union of South Africa have already met with the Office of the Minister on the matter. Workers at Clover have been on strike for almost two months over retrenchments as well as restructuring, which they blame on the acquisition of the company by Israel-based Milko. So for more information on this, we're joined now by Mamit Sibeyu from the General Industrial Workers Union of South Africa. Africa. Thank you so much, Mamitla, for your time this morning. Let's talk a little bit about your meeting uh, with the minister's office. How was that meeting, and did you achieve the outcomes that you were hoping for? My name to and to uh, viewers. No, I mean, it was a complete waste of time, to be honest, because all that um, minister did was, or minister's office did was to give us a reason why they can do anything about a very grave situation which, um, you know, we're facing a clover where about four factories are scheduled for closure in the beginning of this year. About, um, you know, 800 workers will be losing their jobs. And we are saying that the government must intervene. And there are various options that we, we put on the table. And, you know, none of that is being seriously considered, in our view. Yeah. I mean, when you're saying that none of that is being seriously considered, what kind of options were put on the table on behalf of the unions? So what we have said is that um, government must expropriate those closing factories and, of course, um, you know, convert them into worker-owned and operated cooperatives. Um, the factory at Lechtenberg, you know, is the biggest cheese factory in this whole continent. Municipality is more than willing to intervene. To the best of our knowledge, the provincial government has also set up, um, you know, a team to look into that. Clover has not been cooperating with government at that. And that's the reason that we are saying that government must then intervene, use its power expropriate, take into public ownership, but also make sure that uh, that factory is able to continue to operate under, uh, you know, uh, as a work cooperative, like many other in the country. And of course, Nova itself operated for decades as mm. a farmer's owned cooperative. That is what um, we've been putting for. We're putting forward as an alternative. Yeah. So then in that case, I mean, Clover, you're saying that it's not been coming to the party. So what are the options left now for the workers in, in that regard? No, we are going to have to compel government uh, to act. Um, you know, it was obviously difficult coordinating any action during December holidays, as many people, you know, um, are, um, you know are scattered all over the country. But um, we are certainly going to escalate. We have the biggest, you know, solidarity meeting on the 8th of October, uh, on, on the 8th of January. We are mobilizing, of course, um, for demonstrations at various points. But, of course, we are taking, uh, we are taking the fight to government. We do think that... Um, this government has a responsibility towards workers, towards communities, and towards small rural towns like Lechtenberg, which would be devastated by the closure of the factories there, and of course in Hebron, in Frankfurt, uh, in Free State, um, but also similar closures that have taken place in Western Cape last year since a takeover of the company by Melico. We do think that um, it was irresponsible of government to allow an acquisition that from the beginning was never about investing in the growth of the company, investing in jobs, investing in workers. Mm. It was always a hostile takeover calculated to destroy the company in order that uh, they can use it merely to access South African markets for goods that are manufactured in an occupied land of the Palestinian people, which Milko is part of by virtue of its operation there, but also supporting Israeli defense force, which we consider to be an army of colonial occupation of Palestine. Yeah. Uh, help me uh, and indulge me for a second here, Mamitla. If government comes back to you and says, guys, we're dealing here with a privately owned business, right? It's not a state owned enterprise. So that case, if it's a privately owned business, they are able to make those private decisions. And the only thing that we as government can do is literally, you know, watch the, the story unfold and unravel as it were. What then for the workers? Because as you're saying, it's about 800 of them or so that will be affected by the job losses. If government turns around and says, not our circus, it's not our problem, it's a privately owned uh, entity, all we can do is hope for the best outcome for the workers, what then? That's exactly what is the problem, because this is not a problem only at Clover, unfortunately. We're in the same situation as SAB, which was also similarly taken over in the same manner. Now, just think about it. We are already at over 12 million unemployed in this country. That unemployment is growing each and every quarter whenever the statistics have been released and so on. Now, if what remains of our manufacturing capacity is being taken over in that manner, is being destroyed by multinational corporations that um, pursue their own 
interest, which is to expand into South African market um, at expense of workers and communities. And that's the reason that as, you know, uh, uh, as a workers' movement we're putting forward, um, nationalization, and in this regard we're saying nationalize, expropriate labor, and particularly those particular facilities, in order that we are able to preserve the industrial capacity in that small rural towns like Lichtenberg, Hebron, and Frankfurt. Because what else are we going to do about the growing problem of chronic mass unemployment that is devastating so many of our communities and workers? And that's the reason that we are saying that um, government has to act, but government is not going to act on its own. We are defining a program of mass action to ensure that we move and we push them in that direction because there is no any other alternative mm. to job losses and massive factory closures in this country. Mamitle, we'll leave it there for this morning. Thank you very much for your time. Mamitle Sibe there, just giving us the latest from that uh, meeting with the unions as well as uh, uh, the Ministry of Economic Development uh, regarding the possible restructuring and subsequent job losses at Clover.